Right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, Ready. or referee for this show. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Lands a nice straight. Ooh, head kick lands. Lee's elbow attempt here, blocked by the defense. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Nice punch here. That was a hard body kick. Nice kick to the body there. Another big body kick land. Back out of there. Back out of there now. That strike blocked by Lee. Nice shot inside by the champion. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Roundhouse kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, got that head kick hold.
Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, nice kick. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. There. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Let your hands go. Just unable to quite find that range. Good work, guys. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Throwing that jab yet again, out of range. Checks that leg kick. Oh, how good is that kick? One minute to go in round one. Oh, counters with a straight right hand. Now we're working. He's going after the head. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Walk that kick to the body. Keep your hands up. Use your foot on that. It's okay. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurt because that's the soft. Right. part of your leg, so you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you throw at. 20 seconds to go. Nice liver shot lands. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. He's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Straight right hand, no good. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Oh. 
Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Taking a lot of body shots this round. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Ooh, big shot lands. Just missed with the left there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Good stick. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. 90 seconds now to go in the round. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. Well, he's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. One minute now, says the round two clock. Ooh! Lee gets touched by that kick there. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Sidekick is there. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Final seconds here of round two. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there, and I want Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a fire fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, and that lands a kick to the bottom. Come on, buddy, keep 
Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Back kick there. Work, guys. Come on. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh! He got hurt again. And back to his feet. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Three minutes to go in round three. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Side kick now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Work, guys, come on. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Big shot to the head. Three past the midpoint here of the fight. Now some separation from his clinch position. Well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Oh, massive kick, Lance Flush. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. And as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, so he continues to attack that upper leg area, and the thigh is really starting to show some visible bruising now. It's showing visible bruising, and you can see his movements are a bit flavored. Look for him to try to switch his stances to try to hide that leg, because he has to do something. One minute now to go on the third. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nice jab. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the jump. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to... Oh! Uh, All right, that's three rounds uh, in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Well, he showed off his powerful striking there with a knockdown. Great round from Lee. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
You ready to fight? Ready. Go we ahead. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This Lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Sidekick, well done. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how... Oh, he landed a flying knee there. Gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. That's a big strike right there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, flying knee to the dome piece. Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, let's go. Let's set up that low kick now. Come on, let's work. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Under three minutes to go in round four. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Punch got blocked there. Come on, let's get it. Leg kick. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Just over two minutes now to go. Tried to go. Oh! Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Under a minute to go. Straight right is there. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Continues to work the body here. So the blood really starting to flow. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. 15 seconds remain in the round.
Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth yeah. and final round. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick. Leg. Oh! Oh, he's wobbled now. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 12 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone